food service industry is one of the most recognizable areas of food waste in America. Food has a pretty complicated journey from the field to your fork. Growing, harvesting, processing, packaging, transporting, marketing, consuming, and disposing are all components of the current food system. However, when the food does make it to people's plates, a lot of it often goes uneaten and is disposed of. This goes straight to the landfill, where it rots and becomes a significant source of methane, when it could be nourishing people and communities that need it most. The development of a more global industrialized food system in place of systems that operated on a more local regional level has changed the relationship to the food we eat and the environment. For example, just one fast food cafeteria cheeseburger includes more than 50 ingredients sourced from countries in every continent of the world except the Arctic. That's a lot of people and communities that are involved in just one bite. And it isn't just the food that you're wasting, you're wasting the money, labor, and natural resources such as energy, land, and water that go into producing the food, as well as the time and energy and the plethora of people involved in each part of the system. But because we buy it for such a cheap price, it's easy to waste because of its accessibility and we rarely think of those who are actually paying the full price. So I decided to take a look at some of the local restaurants and food businesses here at Dartmouth to find out what they were doing with their food that wasn't eaten by the end of the day. We actually have a SOMAP, which we dump everything into, that breaks it all down into a liquid. Oh. That way it can all be composted equally, you know what I mean? It goes, we, it runs through the building and it goes downstairs into this giant thing and then we, that we uh, I'm not sure exactly what they do with it, but they dispose of it correctly. And it breaks it down to a liquid so it's all easier to um, compost. It's, we have a par based on the day that day the year before okay so we built to around that much but oh. it's generally around the same amount of meal swipes same around the same mm-hmm. amount of students on campus so we usually know around how much we're going to sell so there's not that much waste right there, you could donate you know say you're going to have um, a chicken dinner today, right mm-hmm. and it you didn't cook all of this yeah. so you have a whole container of it left and then tomorrow night to the different dinner. Yeah. You could send that to them as long as it's been held properly at the right temperatures and maintained correctly, you could send that. A lot of a lot of kids take way too much pizza and pizza. things like that. Mm-hmm. Because we'll throw three, four slices at it on each plate, you know, like right. somebody might go one piece of each, you know, and then right. they eat two of them throw three or four away. Mm-hmm. We waste a lot of pizza. What we keep is the sauces, mm-hmm. the carnitas, and we keep the beans. And at the end of the night, I have like all the chopped meat right here. Yeah. So you see we, this. We try to run out of everything. We try to run out, but like we right. all the cut. At the end of the evening, the we cook to order, so there's not a lot of waste. We do compost certain foods. But like the fresh produce, do you guys just usually throw it away? Okay. No. None of this gets thrown away ever. We, like put away we use all this, we never throw it away, we save it, we cover the cold back? line at the end of the night. I said that cooks at the end of the night cook more to order. So like for example, if we only had a few mushrooms left, there would be none cooked already. We would tell the cook ahead of time, like 15-20 minutes ahead of time, hey we're going to run out of mushrooms. We also cook less food in the evening so that we, the, the goal is to use it all. Well yesterday, we donated 3,000 burritos for the crowd. Fourteen garbage bags a day. Okay. So 30 gallon bags with usually only about 60% full. Okay. And we probably waste about 30% of our food. We keep data from the previous years okay. and add a small percentage of growth to that. Yes, this past menu we reduced the size of a fair amount of items that we noticed that a lot of people waste on. We actually um, try to waste no food. Okay. We see that there's something that is um, about ready to go go bad or something like mm-hmm. that. We try to make a special that day incorporating that. Okay, we inventory it and we order according to need. So we don't oh. like have a specific order every week. We, we actually we compost. A lot of it goes into gardens that um, we turn around and some of the lettuce from that we use here in the restaurant come from the garden. We follow the you know the campus schedule quite a bit because mm-hmm. that drives our business. We also have buckets that help back and um, local farmers come and get the leftover bread from their pigs. 
Food services can collect data throughout the year to plan for the same amount of people in order to reduce food waste before it's even created. They can use composting liquefiers so the extra food can become soil additive, as well as send their food scraps to farms to feed other animals. Services can also donate leftover food to food banks and soup kitchens.